good morning. I just had my exercises. And, uh, yesterday, question I came. And, and um, I told her from the USA and I told her about my mom's tooth surgery and uh, she asked me about the what drugs that were given and I said only paracetamol and she asked why only paracetamol so I told her uh, uh, that she also got that uh, anesthetic and uh, her face is drooping for the time being and she said uh, that it's that that's that's better. And I went outside to buy some meds, the antibiotics for my mom. And uh, the root canal procedure was performed and she walked a lot for two hours, the doc doctor, my mom said but it's not complete yet. It takes a few more settings. I read it takes two in the book, but there, uh, one of my relatives told me that it takes more than uh, two settings. I guess we shall see. And, uh, otherwise, uh, it was a it was a great day. I tried out the new fresh was face wash. And uh, it was nice. Let's choose the topic for today. And this topic can be the language of Bengali. The so Bengali is one of the Indo Aryan language and it's descended from Sanskrit and it is the fourth or fifth largest language in terms of speakers and it is the official language of a state along with English and this language is very rich and the first Nobel laureate from Asia, the Vidra Tagore, uh, wrote in Bengali although the poem book we got the prize for was written in English And uh, we also have many intellectuals, many other writers from Bengali whose works are admired throughout the country, if not the globe. And uh, this Bengali language alphabet has 50 letters. And uh, some of these letters, like the Li one, are getting outdated and are getting removed but still we have around twice the number of alphabets compared to English and uh, the English we study in school that is without those special pronunciation marks uh, are quite inadequate to express many words but in Bengali uh, the letters have can convey the pronunciation, for example, of Nazis, and uh, in English it looks like Nazi, but it's actually Nazi, and it's uh, written well in the Bengali alphabet. We can re readily pronounce it. And if you are studying a language of the Sanskrit roots, like Hindi or Gujarati or something like that, then it's easy for you to learn Bengali, otherwise it might be a little difficult, but still it's nowhere as difficult as, say, uh, Chinese or Japanese, and probably even uh, Thai and Russian. So, that's all for today, about the language Bengali. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you again, and bye-bye.